this industry is going to explode. The connected home, the smart home industry. This industry is going to explode. The connected home, the smart home industry is going to face unprecedented demand from homeowners over the next decade. There are more things our end consumers are interested in. More technology is coming to the home. The complexity is going to continue to go up. And the future of the smart home is the professionally installed and managed smart home. Together, we can make that even more powerful. We're going to be able to bring you better products, better service, and better support. To make your lives easier and your businesses more profitable. Better products doesn't just mean the products you sell today, but how the products work together. Control is a critical component to bring together the full portfolio and being able to offer a complete solution. Imagine the way that you can get service from one place when you've installed it from one company and you know those products work better together. We can also attract best in breed third party vendors to help complete the product line and be a great one stop shop for you as a dealer. Snap AV is all about service. We have had a company 100% focused on the dealer since day one. Things like building out a supply chain that had next day or two day delivery, delivering it through an e-commerce platform, bringing inventory locally so that when next day shipping is not fast enough, we've got same day availability. Together, we're gonna to be able to bring you better support. Whether that's customer support when you call and have a question, whether it's technical field managers in the field when you have a complex install, training and support for bringing new installers into the business, and tools and services that allow you to be more successful. This is a new journey we're embarking on, and I would ask that you join us on that journey. This is a chance for us to do something completely different for our industry and for you. No one else can invest at the level that we can to build innovative products and to offer the best service and support to help make your life easier and be more profitable in the process. Please, please welcome the CEO of Snap AV, John Heyman. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, everybody, we're, we're, uh, everybody ready for a great studio? Good, good, good. We are too, and we're really excited. I'm the luckiest guy in the industry because I get to work with those guys and 1,200 other of uh, the best people in the CDA industry every single day to deliver to you. Um, who's ready for football season to start? Did, who's team won? My team's the Atlanta Falcons. Our first possession, we had a block punt. They scored a touchdown. Our second position, uh, possession, uh, we threw an interception in our own territory. They scored a touchdown. And we are quickly on the way to contending for the first round, uh, first pick in the first round uh, next spring. But I, uh, I'm lucky because I have another team. I have another team, um, and that's the the SNAP AV and the Control 4 team that have come together. And uh, we came together about a month and a half ago. We closed the merger. We've been working really hard. I'll call it the preseason. And Cedia is really our opening, uh, opening weekend. A and we are ready. Our teams have been working really hard. We've been thinking singularly about how we can deliver better together for each of you so you can take advantage of what we think is an incredible opportunity in front of you. And today I'm going to share that uh, opportunity and our vision for that, and then I'm going to turn it over to Charlie Kendall, who will talk what I know you guys are really interested in, which is all our products. First of all, um, the state of our union, and we like to think of, of the relationship that we have with this industry as a union. Okay, we don't think of it as transactionally that we're just trying to sell you products day in, day out. We're trying to elevate the conversation with this industry and provide you with platforms that you can build businesses on top of. So the state of our union is really strong. When I go out there and meet with many of you uh, in the integrator community, your businesses are thriving. You're incredibly busy. Some don't even want new leads because you have too much work to do. Our business is strong. 
SNAP AV and Control 4 are doing more this year than they've ever done in terms of revenues and profitability. We, uh, as voted by the industry, have many of the leading products. We are the finest service organizations out there. We have the best e-commerce sites, and we are positioned like never before to invest in your businesses so you can grow them profitably. So we're really excited about that um, and uh, looking forward to doing more with each of you. Our company, uh, Snap AV, was built about 15 years ago. It's hard to believe that the company actually didn't really come into existence until a decade and a half ago. But we were built by you. We were built by integrators for integrators. And today, we have 1,200 of the finest people in the industry who are passionate about helping you in your business and delivering technology to homeowners around the world. We do that through you. We have thousands of customers. We work every day to make your lives easier, your businesses more profitable. You have tens of thousands of employees inside your business who have to install all day and then support customers at night when they get home and use the systems our industry installs or on the weekend. And we work really hard to make their lives easier. And we feel like we've done a really good job, but we know we have a lot more we can do in the future and do it better together with Control 4. And we support millions of homeowners. Our technology is in millions of homes today. And that's something that speaks to the past, but we really feel like we're at the tip of the iceberg in terms of opportunity. When this, when this union here works really well, when it works really well, you do things like buy our racks and our mounts and our speakers. And even though we haven't produced a single unit of networking equipment, or we haven't invested in a management and monitoring tool like Oversee or Backpack, you know that when you invest in us, we're going to do those things because nobody cares more about your business than we do. So we take the money you invest in our business when this union works really well, and we make investments in products and tools like Oversee that help your business over the coming years. That's when this works really well, when we act together. And companies that don't act like this don't get these benefits. If companies don't invest in your businesses, do you start buying more or less? You buy less. And when you buy less from them, what happens to service levels or innovation in those companies? It declines. That's not good for anyone. So this is what we talk about when we talk about we imagine a union with this industry that can be prosperous for all of us. So we've been asking our question, a question inside our business a lot, which is, what if? What if we can elevate all of ourselves from this notion of weekly projects and transactional activity inside the industry to truly a relationship, a union, if you will, where we know we're all in this together and the pie is going to get bigger and bigger, and there's tremendous opportunity for us all to build very valuable businesses. So this what if question I'll come back to in just a bit. We're in a really good, what we believe, macro environment. Um, I've, again, spent a lot of time out there in the field. Uh, one question that dealers and uh, we have discussions about is the notion of increasing capacity in your business. If you're so busy, if I talk to a partner at Hellman and Friedman who has not been able to get someone to answer the phone, basically, to install his system, and I think it'd be a pretty expensive system, by the way, um, this industry is so busy, why can't we get people to add more people? And some people have these memories of the mid-2000s when the economy crashed. Who was in business back then? I was. It was a really bad time. And uh, I think people get hung up on the fact that housing was so overbuilt during that time that they don't take a step back and look at 
what's happened over the past 50 years. And if you look at this slide, even though the housing industry feels like it's been in a really robust recovery mode for the past 10 years, it really hasn't. It really hasn't when you compare it to history. In fact, if you look at the graph here, where we are today, we're building about 1.3 million homes a month. By the way, the demand for homes is about 1.6 million in the country. And that's far different than at the peak when we were building over 2 million homes and that demand actually didn't exist. So all the technology and stuff we were putting into homes back in the mid 2000s was built on artificial demand. That's not the case right now. That's not the case right now. In fact, if you listen to most people about the economy, even though every economic cycle has to come to an end at some point, this will not be one that ends because of housing. The, 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 the facts and figures support a nice, moderate, continued housing re uh, recovery. So we're excited about that. That's something that's meaningful to our business and to your business, so that's good. Um, the other thing that's good is just the industry we're in. 30% of households in the United States have added a smart device over the past uh, three years. That's great, but 70% haven't. And the 30% that did, what are they gonna do? They're gonna buy more smart home devices. And what we gotta show them is that professional installations and professional equipment and technology is the best thing they can do for the homeowners that seek their services. But smart technology is a tailwind for us. Upgrades. This industry has installed more technology over the past 15 years or so than it had in its lifetime before that. These are the most discerning homeowners in the world who have bought our technology. And a lot of it's outdated. A lot of it's outdated. There are better networking systems, 8K televisions coming, more sophisticated surveillance systems. There's a great opportunity to just go back in the install base and literally we size it at well over a billion dollars just for our company, which is, mil which is billions of dollars for the industry. So we think the industry and we think your businesses are gonna face uh, a significant amount of demand. We're at the tip of the iceberg. In fact, we think the opportunity is so huge to affect the merger with Control 4 and do what we think we need to do for the industry, we invested $670 million in their company. That's what we did about 45 days ago. So uh, we are, again, really excited about it. But, but, there's always a but, we've got challenges. We know it. Um, when you have a challenge in your business, it's a challenge in our business. And we've got to help you face those challenges. We have to face, help the industry face those challenges. And the industry, we feel like, needs a partner like us who is singularly devoted to your businesses to help you address these challenges. Challenge one, consumer expectations. Everybody expects everything to work well out of the box. Watch a TV commercial. You can see the homeowner opening something. It works great for their whole family. So that's what they expect. Your installers are consumers. They expect things to work easier. We're working a lot inside our business to make things easier to install for you. Price. There are lots of companies, some funded by venture capitalists, some by uh, the mega tech players that are selling products at very low price points. I haven't seen anybody actually making money on these things, but they're causing conversations with our customers around price. We have to lift the conversation up. We have to help, first of all, we have to build, and second of all, then we have to explain to you and help you explain to a customer when they ask for a DIY product by brand name that you can show them that there is a better solution out there that's a professional grade solution. That's a, that's a threat to us, but it's a big opportunity for us. DIY trends. There's gonna be more connected devices in the home. I don't think anybody would argue with that. 5G is coming. There'll still be wires, but there'll be reasons for things to be less wired. 
and training and availability of techs. Every, every trade person I talk to in this industry and outside this industry is having a hard time attracting qualified labor. So that's something that threatens all of us because if demand is coming at us hard, which we know it is, then we have to get ready to take care of that demand or someone else will. We think there's other issues in the industry, part of which we've been trying to address at SNAP AV and, and some of which we could only affect by merging with Control 4. But we think the fragmentation in the industry is an issue. Um, I think this, I'm going through my fourth custom install experience right now. I'm pulling out another smart home system, by the way, and I'm putting in OS3, and I'm very excited about it. The, um, but that graphic I showed earlier, where Snap AV supports thousands of dealers with tens of thousands of employees, that's what we aspire to, is that type of union. But that's not the way the industry works necessarily today. You shop with Snap AV. Prior to that, you also shopped with Control 4. You sh shop with other distributors, regional or national. You shop with other manufacturers. You get all these pieces and parts. You get them at the job site. You try to do an install. Something goes wrong on the install or goes wrong after the install and you have to support it. And the solutions we provide to our customers because of the fragmentation in the industry, results in systems that either cost too much or don't have the reliability a discerning customer expects when they make this kind of investment. And that's an issue for all of us. When we bought, um, when we merged with Control 4, before you write a check for that size, you do a lot of surveys. We actually spent time surveying the consumers who buy products from this industry. And what we were trying to do was get a measure of customer service out there. Customer service with the solutions we sell. So a couple of facts. One control system stood above all other control systems in that consumer survey. Do you want to guess which one it was? Good. Louder. One more time. Better. Better. But, but the satisfaction with professionally installed systems out there by any control system provider or by the industry as a whole, I would characterize as good, not exceptional. And we should all think about that for a second. We, we can fix these issues together. We can make what we do exceptional. When we do that, consumers will want to buy more and more. More and more people will want to come to work in this industry. You will make more money and build better, more valuable businesses. We believe that. So we know homes are going to be smarter. Everybody would agree with that. We know homes are going to be smarter. We know they're going to be much more connected. And we, we have strong conviction that of the roughly 130 million households inside the United States, we know 18 million today rely on professionals for things that have nothing to do with what we sell. So people ask about DIY. We have the strongest level of conviction in your businesses and have focused our entire investment on this industry because we have conviction that homeowners will continue to look to you for solutions. Today they spend hundreds of dollars every month, 18 million households, 15% of the market, on things as basic as lawn services. Can you cut your own yard? I cut my own yard for my first years out of school. Can you paint your own house? That's not as recurring, sure. But I think the stat at Sherwin-Williams is 90% of their paint is sold to professional painters. So we have very strong conviction to continue investing in this industry. We think it's going to get bigger um, for all of us. So that's why 
as we think about our company's strategy and where to invest, if we know that the smartest, most connected homes are going to be installed and managed and maintained by you, then we have one reason of being. There's only one reason for our company to be here, and that's because we're here to help you. That, that's what we've always been. We've been here to help you guys build your business. We think the smart home is the key to the rising tide of this. Uh, the smart home is where all these devices come together. It's what the uh, smart home platform is what the consumer uses to implement the technology experiences in their home. It's where other manufacturers have to integrate to to provide those seamless experiences and to ensure that reliability is what is expected of a professional solution. So this is going to get harder in the future, not easier, with the homes getting smarter and more connected. And so we have to work harder and invest more in the smart home platform. And that's one of the reasons Snap wanted to merge with Control 4, because that was the one thing in the industry that we couldn't address without a partner. So we partnered with the company that we found was the best company in the world. I mean, it's, it, it's so hard to find someone who is the actual best in the world at what they've done. But if you look at the numbers, if you look at the number of homes that use smart home platforms, if you look at the number of dealers who install them, if you look at the number of devices connected to a smart home system or integrated, there is one company that stands above all others in, in having success with the smart home platform. And by the way, we're the first to acknowledge it's not perfect. It's got to get better. And that was Control 4. So we were thrilled with the opportunity to come together with a company that we felt shared our passion and focus on the industry, but also fit so well strategically. And so that was the first part of the union. Remember, I, I, at the beginning, I had Snap AV at the bottom of that triangle supporting the industry. But Control 4 that was there too. That's part of the fragmentation. But we've brought those two companies together, and we're going to bring our technologies together, our support groups together, et cetera, to create better experiences for you. One of the things that in our spring training, as we've been getting ready for opening week uh, this week of Cedia, one of the things we've been doing is trying to plot what, what's our game plan? What are the things that 1,200 people can put their hands in the huddle and break on and feel great about in terms of what we're trying to deliver to you? So the number one thing we want to help you deliver is profitable industry growth. Because if we don't do that, the industry ceases to exist. But inside our own business, there are a few things that we are working on hard. Number one, we want to be the place for the best talent in the industry to be. If you know anybody great in the industry who's not working with us, we've got open positions everywhere. Please tell them about us. Um, so we, we, we take it very seriously to hire the best people who share our culture and uh, to invest in them and their careers so they can better serve you. We have to keep innovating. We have to keep innovating. Your customers buy products and solutions from you. If we don't pr provide you with great products and solutions, you're going to go elsewhere. So we have to continue to push hard on integration, I mean, on innovation. And we're announcing a bunch of products this week, but we've got a lot of other things in the hopper, too, that we're really excited about. We've got to provide exceptional service. We're serving the most discerning customers in the world in this industry. So again, you're busy during the day installing. You're supporting in the evenings. You're supporting on the weekends. We have to help you provide better su support. We're doing that through even Tools in Oversee, where we're investing in, uh, in tools so companies that are emerging out there, like Parasol, can provide you with services to provide round-the-clock experiences to your customers. Great access. We found that it's not always enough to be able to ship to you overnight or, the, or two days later. 
You need it now. Or you need it first thing in the morning before the FedEx truck gets there. So we are, we are working on building out our local presence. World-class partners. We're not always going to have everything for every job. But you need choice. And so we're investing in having other third-party relationships with companies like Lutron and Yamaha and Klipsch. So you can come to one place to get your product and one place to support your product. New tools, great websites, great training, a new rack builder system, the best support organization in the world, all available at no charge to the industry. And then finally, of course, competitive policies, whether it's pricing, programs, warranties, et cetera. So this is what we call our circle of virtuosity. We believe that to affect the union I'm talking about between your businesses and our company, that we have to be virtuous with our choices around investment and stay true to these things so that you can keep growing your businesses around our company. All right. I asked, I, I said earlier, that when the union worked really well, we're able to take the money you've invested in things like racks and mounts and speakers and invest them in things like networking, cloud platforms to support your customers remotely, et cetera. So here's something I want to say to everyone that's going to sound so self-serving that I almost don't want to say it, but it's true. When you invest more with us, we can invest more in you. And that is just a fact. And you can look at the long history of companies in this industry where when, when you stopped buying companies' products, they became irrelevant. Now, it's incumbent on us, which I just explained with our circle of virtuosity, it's incumbent on us to keep investing like no other company can in your businesses. If you ever see us violating that, you're going to get my email in a second, send me an email. We're going to make the investments in you, but we need you to invest in us for us to continue to develop new products, give things like Oversee away to the industry for free, build new training tools, et cetera. Those things require investment, and we have built a company that has shown we're willing to make those investments, and now we're even more capable. So on that job where you might decide not to use our speaker or you might use somebody else's rack or mount, understand, understand that that money is going to somebody else in the ecosystem that isn't investing like we can, isn't as passionate about this industry, and our success is singularly focused on this industry. We can't win unless you win. We can't win if the commercial market explodes. That's not our market. We can't win if the consumer market uh, in DIY explodes. That's not our market. Our market is you, and we're in this together. And so this circle of virtuosity gets bigger, and it starts spinning faster for all of us and creating opportunity for all of us only when we really embrace the notion of partnering together. And so back to that triangle with Snap at the bottom, We've already partnered with Control4. We've already made a really big investment there. And we're going to make bigger investments in your business, and we're going to ask you to make bigger investments in ours. Next year, when you look at the uh, uh, P&L of our two businesses, we'll invest $200 million in this industry. $200 million. When you go up and down the show floor at Cedia, I'll bet less than 10% of the companies at the show even have 10 or 200 million in revenues. So this ability to invest is a real asset for the industry. We think there's three things that we have to be great at and that we're going to invest maniacally in. The first is an operating platform. 
a, 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 a place, a company, where you can shop at and research and do business with that makes your jobs easier and your business is more profitable. I'll talk about that in a bit. The second two, which Charlie Kindle will talk about, is a smart home platform, a platform that you can put in one of your customers' homes and know for the next 10 years that everything our company does is gonna work with that platform seamlessly and even other third parties that integrate with it. And the third piece is a, a management platform that allows you, whether it's backpack or oversee, allows you to support the homeowners remotely without having to roll a truck. And by the way, does a lot of other things because we're investing well over $5 million a year in those cloud platforms, in, in, the, in the management platform specifically. So those are the three platforms we feel like we've got to be great at to help you prosper in the future. Our operating platform that I'll just talk a little bit about starts with the best online and the best local presence in the industry. We made a decision a year ago that being the best e-commerce company in the industry wasn't good enough, that we want to have a local presence for you, whether it's local availability of product or uh, local relationships and service. Of course we have to have the best products. And when I look at all the brand studies, gosh, in so many categories, Control 4 and Snap AV were number one and two, which uh, is great. I guess some competitors will be happy about the merger because maybe it opens up a way for them to get into the number two position. But we've generally shared the number one or two position in most categories. Training, a uh, lot of great things going on in training inside both businesses. I'll talk about those in a second, but one of the things we hear most from the industry is we need more training and we're getting ready to uh, give you more training. More tech support. We've made great advances there in just about 30 days that I'll share with you here in a second, but through better integration of the products, better quality of the products, we can reduce the need even for, uh, for tech support. And then of course, invest more in our ability to support you on the job than any other company. And then finally, marketing programs. Marketing programs that put dollars in your pocket, by the way, when you spend more money with us, but also that help you market to your customers. Just a little bit more about the platform. This year, we've opened up 22 local stores. Our general view is if you've got a professional sports team in your neighborhood, we ought to have a local presence there. We have plans to get to closer probably to 60 or so over the next couple of years. We have and will continue to have the number one e-commerce site in the industry and continue to make that more robust. We're launching 150 plus products here at Cedia. Most companies don't have 150 products. We're launching 150 new products. And our product catalog today of products that we've built in our company is 4,700. Quite extensive, deep, and broad. Marketing, the certified showrooms you guys are opening up, we're letting consumers see more and more the technology that we're providing to the industry. We've provided almost 10,000 leads to customers, to dealers for, on, on customers who want technology. We're starting to build relationships with influencers out there that can be helpful to your business. This is something I'm incredibly proud of in terms of training and support. Um, SNAP has always been revered for our hold times and our service. Control 4 has always been revered for their service, like the, their, their technical support. But the hold times for um, Control 4 are drastically different when you call than at Snap AV, or have been over the past number of months. And through a number of changes around staffing, et cetera, in just, in, in less than six weeks, we've reduced hold times from 12 minutes to close to four minutes. Are you guys happy with that? <laughs> training and support, uh, the package training around networking, 2,400 certifications, uh, over 3,000 OS3 trainings, uh, huge number of dealers have been implementing OS3, uh, and we, we we'll continue listening to you. You've 
gotten surveys from us. You know that's how we think about building products. It's how we think about investing in other programs for your business. We hear people loud and clear about more training. We know the industry is hungry for a, a, a recurring revenue platform, and we think now that technology and importantly, the service capabilities are there to, for you to start to providing it to your customers and making money and building value in your business. We know there's a tech issue out there. We think there are some ways we might be able to help the industry recruit and even train technicians. Customer service will continue to be a big opportunity. So we're listening to you. And here's my email, but you have your salespeople's emails um, as well. But feel free, I posted on LinkedIn about four or five weeks ago, I had had a, a, a great conversation with a dealer who had some ideas about how to not just grow his business, but how to grow the industry. And uh, so I posted on LinkedIn just, you know, how can we help the industry? I've gotten so many good emails or, or responses on LinkedIn, and these are the things we're thinking about. And these are the things that, because we've merged with Control 4, and, and because we have the people we do inside the company, that we're ready to deliver. When Snap AV was founded, there was no concept of oversee. One of our guys came up to me last night, Eric Harper, and he goes, God, it'd be so cool. It'd be so cool to put in a time capsule what we think our company is going to look like in the next three years. And, and the past few weeks, we've been able to reduce hold times. We've got some product integrations that have come out. Um, we've got a host of new things that are on the drawing board that you're gonna see month by month because of our ability to invest and our passion around your businesses. So what we're asking on your behalf is to be part of this journey with us. Be part of it because that's how we will build better products. We will deliver better support. We will be able to provide you with more free tools that help you in your business and build a more valuable business. And we think that this is a ever expanding opportunity that we are all on the cusp of. So before I go, which I'm sure you're happy that I'm going, um, before I go, we all know that this is a product industry. And a few years ago, I got to meet Charlie Kindle. He was not at Control 4 then. He was leading the Alexa efforts for Amazon then. And I asked Charlie, the day I met him, which I, I believe was three years ago, Cedia. I asked Charlie, I said, well, I, I made a statement first. I said, implementing a smart home is so hard. And Charlie looked at me and he goes, yeah, but why does that have to be? And I think those were his exact words. And I got to know Charlie better at some industry events. And he called me up about a year ago and said he was going to work at Control 4. And I said, man, that's a great company. I said, who knows? Maybe we'll even be part of the same company one day. Um, but I think we should all be grateful. I have worked um, around very few visionaries in my, I've been in technology all of my life, but I've, it's seldom that you get to work with a visionary of Charlie's caliber who's got a view um, of where the smart home is going and has a history of be, being able to execute against that for the industry giants like Microsoft and Amazon. And I think this industry, our company, and the homeowners who buy our solutions in the future are lucky to have him at the helm of our product organization because as we all know, it starts with great products. So please join me in welcoming Charlie Kendall. Thanks, sir. It's awesome to be here. Thank you for that, John. I'm very humbled by that. Um, I feel extremely blessed uh, to be in the position that I'm in. I'm responsible at, at SNAP AV for 
something like 4,700 products that the, the people in my organization uh, listen to customers about, um, ideate on, design, plan, code, engineer, and then launch uh, as products from our company. And I wake up every day and my entire career has been built around uh, building products. I'm a builder and it, it just, I'm just giddy that I'm in this opportunity to be able to be responsible for so many great products that deliver so much value to customers and at the same time um, be in an industry in a, in a place that I have so much passion around. I've been an enthusiast and a, and a, and a smart home nerd uh, going back probably as far as anybody in the room um, and uh, uh, I have long had the, the very, very strongly held belief that for this space to truly take off, to truly get to the masses, the only way it's going to happen is through local professional help. And that's what this room represents. So thank you for being here. I'm also super excited. Right on. I'm also super excited that, that we're coming into this event this week, um, being able to talk about all sorts of new products, uh, products that, we, that you haven't seen before uh, from Snap AV. And uh, at the end, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, some, some specific ones. Um, there's no way that I have time today to go through all of them. So come visit our, our joint booths that we have at the show. We build products for every project. We think about the smart home holistically, and uh, we categorize the products that we build across several lines. First of all, we start at the foundation, the infrastructure of the home. We deliver products ranging from the bent metal of, of, of racks and mounts, uh, wire, bulk wire, um, all the way through to the networking and power. Those are the infrastructure pieces that are required for any smart home. And we strive to make those the, the most world-class, reliable, robust, professionally installed products possible. On top of that infrastructure, you have to have a smart home operating system. I'll talk more about this as we go on today, but we all understand the complexities of technology and how that's increasing. And without a smart home operating system, driving that interoperability, uh, enabling the ecosystem to, to, to expand and provide a common user experience within the house for the family members to be able to experience the benefit of the smart home. The, uh, you have to have a smart home operating system to do that. And of course, we have the best of that. Uh, all of the scenarios that are important to customers, today they start thing with things like intelligent whole home lighting and multi-room audio and video distribution and comfort and surveillance and security. We build products in those categories as well. And of course we also build world-class interface devices. The things that customers use to interface with their home, whether it's a touch screen, a handheld remote control, a keypad on the wall, or a voice interface. And then the other products we deliver sit on top of that, making you the professional be able to manage that customer's home and monitor that customer's home over time with monitoring management, monitoring and management. Early when the, the, the merger was announced, there was a lot of speculation that, that this would be some sort of holding company of brands and it would be loosely coupled. And I want to just assure everyone that the way we've organized across the company, there's a single product team, there's a single marketing team, there's a single ma uh, sales team. Within the product team, it's one team. And we've taken the places where we have overlapping products between Snap AV and Control 4, and we brought those people that are responsible, responsible for them together. And they're now one team and making the right decisions on behalf of customers. One of the best examples of that is our monitoring and management solutions. Oversee and Backpack are the leaders for monitoring and management for the industry. They're, they're, they're both very capable product lines. And it is our intention and the team that has been brought together, it's a single team, and it is their job to make sure that we bring those platforms together and continue to innovate on them and, and bring the best of both of them together and do it in such a way that you have complete confidence as you c continue on in your business that no matter which one you pick today or you're using today, 
complete confidence that we will not leave any dealer behind as we bring those together into an integrated solution. And we'll be doing that across all of the product lines. So we're here because we're in the professionally installed smart home space. And the evidence is clear that the demand for that is on the rise. And we assert, and John has asserted in his talk, that that's going to continue. It's going to continue to be on the rise. Why is that? Great businesses focus on the things that will always be true. And so what are the things that we believe will always be true that, that lead to the need for continued professional support for smart home customers? The first is everything is going to be connected. Today, we're all familiar with the, the common products that are connected. Smart lighting, music devices, surveillance. What about the internet connected salt and pepper shaker? What about the, the there really does exist such a thing, by the way. It's not a joke. Um, uh, cabinetry, smart refrigerators, appliances, um, uh, robotic vacuum cleaners, the automobile. Give an example. This r wedding ring that I'm wearing is a smart wedding ring. It has uh, four sensors on it for heart rate, uh, oxygen, or blood oxygen, a gyroscope, motion sensor. It's got a radio in it, it does Bluetooth, as well as a battery that lasts a week. Fits on my ring. It's got it last week, it's pretty cool. Just an evidence of, of how everything is going to be connected. The other thing that uh, uh, will always be true is that families and family members will always, always be busy. I happen to be a total nerd and a geek, and so I'm willing to spend the time, or I used to be willing to spend the time, managing my smart home, that second job as an IT professional in my own home. Most people are not like that. They just want to get the benefit of the technology. They want to enjoy the experiences, and that's always going to be true because they have real lives that they want to uh, carry on. The other thing that will always be true is families will always want choice. The idea that a singular home will buy just a single brand of products is absurd. Just think about your own home and the number of brands that your family members bring in or how those brand preferences change over time. And so, the, so fragmentation along the lines of multiple products for multiple companies will always be true. The other thing will always be true is that the home is the family's castle. And the members of the family expect that home to protect them. Protect them from intruders and, and prying eyes, whether those are of the virtual sort, the digital sort, or physical. That will always be true. Point solutions and digital accessories are going to proliferate. Everything's going to be connected. And as they do, there, those devices themselves are going to become more complex and the interconnections are, are going to become more complex. And more and more those experiences that family members want to experience in the home become mission critical. I know for my family when, when my wife and my kids want to watch The Bachelor that when they sit down to watch it, it better darn well work and it's mission critical in their minds. And so the, the technology and the infrastructure has to be robust, and that's going to continue to become more and more true. All of those things lead to a case for having a professional, local help to support the family and their technology needs. Let's talk a little bit more about complexity. Many of you may have seen this cartoon before. Situation, there are 14 competing standards. Some bright person comes along and says, I got a great idea, let's create a unifying standard that brings it all together. What's the result? You now have 15 competing standards. And the smart home industry, going back to when X10 was invented in 1974, is the poster child for that fragmentation and complexity. And it's going to continue. One of my favorite slides of all time, I, I gave a version of this slide at a conference back in 1997, and this is an updated version of it. It shows the technology adoption curve of new products and technologies. And what you take away from this is that over time, the slope of those adoptive adoption curves have steepened, and 
more and more new products have, uh, have appeared at a faster rate and that's gonna continue. This is all just me reassuring you all that the space that we're in is gonna continue to become more complex, more challenging, but at the same time, customers are asking for more. By next year, we're gonna have three commas in the number of devices that customers have in their homes. Billions and billions of devices. By the end of this year, almost half of American homes will have at least one smart device in their house. If you go back just, like just five or six years, 99% of homes in America did not have that. So the, re the ramp is real, and we're at that point in time where this industry that has been poised to take off many, many times actually really is taking off. So let's talk a little bit more about the, everything being connected. I mentioned my ring, just as an example. Talked about uh, smart appliances, refrigerators, uh, washers and dryers, robotic vacuum cleaners, uh, cabinets that can sense uh, how many uh, bars of soap are left in the, in the cabinet. That's all coming, it's all here today. And you should walk around your house and look at everything you have and recognize that in a short amount of time, it's gonna be digital and connected. We have a framework that we use within Snap AV for thinking about the progression of the smart home. And I found it really valuable to share with people because it, it drives the right conversations. If we go back in time, well, so I'll step through the, we call it the five levels. And so let me step through these. The first level is the traditional, the traditional home where there's no smarts. There's zero uh, di connected digital devices. And as I mentioned, it was just a short amount of time ago, five, six, seven years, where 99 plus percent of homes were of this sort. We now move on to the, 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 the level two smart home, the piecemeal smart home, where a family member has decided to bring a few devices into the home, try and con connect them and make them work. Notice they, didn't, they don't try and connect them together. They just try and make them work as individual islands. House has typically one to three devices. If you talk to the megacorps that are, that are involved in smart home right now, and you talk about the average number of devices that they, they support, this is where their focus is, on one to three devices in the home. The level three, Smart home is where you have limited integration. You start to actually get connectivity between devices across the scenario areas where lighting is, is, is mixed with entertainment and comfort. Um, but you're still in, a, in, a, in a, the home where it is, it is all loosely coupled and uh, it, it's fragmented for the, the family. The biggest evidence of this is the 15 smart home apps that a customer in a house like this has to have on their smartphone. You start to see one to 10 devices in this type of home. And this is really where, the, where all the hype around smart home really lives today, in the level three smart home. Um, new accessories for the smart home coming out all the time. New technologies being brought forth. And if you think about the, the, the fact that, that that's where that 12 billion devices currently resides, it's a giant tidal wave of interest and invention and, and innovation. This industry, the pro installed industry, has always focused on the full integrated smart home, where the number of devices involved uh, is in the dozens. And, and, and just duh, by default, you have whole home lighting that's integrated with comfort and entertainment and shades. It's just part of the, 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 the model that we've always enabled customers to have. We've done that because we could do it through a professionally served model. This is the, 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 the center of gravity for, the snap, for SNAP AV and Control 4. This is where we play. And what we're mostly excited about is that tidal wave of interest from the level four smart home is gonna, is gonna roll over into us. And we're gonna be able to be the, be the, 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 the capability collectively, all of us, the, the dealers and integrators and installers, the hundreds of thousands of people John talk about, plus companies like SnapAV are gonna be in, an in, in a position to lead 
that sea change towards the level four smart home, which will let us then uh, also deliver on level five, which is where we really have more proactive, predictive automation within the home. And, and you get to the place where normal homes have thousands of devices in them. So just to recap this, the, the mental model I want you to take away with is there's five levels to the smart home, five levels to the smart home. Most of the world is focused on one through three, and there's a massive tidal wave of, of energy and innovation and invest, investment in one through three, and that is going to lead to our industry being able to actually deliver on at a much greater scale the ultimate smart home experience for customers with an integrated home. I'm going to say one other thing about that slide. It occurs to me, going back to my own personal history, um, I was involved at Microsoft very early in the early days of Windows. Um, back when, when DOS and, and, and the Mac didn't exist, but it was just Windows. And there was a feeling, a sense in that industry at the time, that there was a tidal wave of adoption coming. And the companies and the individuals that got in early on that and, and, got, and bought into that idea early were the ones that ended up leading that as, as the personal computing revolution took off. And this feels a lot like that to me, that we're at that point in the industry where we collectively can be the leaders to lead this forward. This is one of the reasons why I've decided to, 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 to make a bet with Control 4 and Snap AV. I truly do believe that. So for all of this to work, the home has to have an operating system. Just like back in the day, a PC was pretty useless if you didn't have an operating system on it that brought all the devices and applications and experiences together. And so that's why we refer to the Control 4 Smart Home Operating System as a home operating system. It has to, it has to uh, unify across all of the devices and scenarios customers care about. It has to provide uh, APIs and third-party developer support um, and ecosystem support for all of those experiences. A Smart Home Operating System also has to be infrastructure. It can't just be a bolt-on. Most of the smart home devices that people are buying today and putting in their homes in a level three smart home are accessories. They're bolt-ons. They're the, 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 the little dongle that you add to your car after you bite it. They're not after you buy it. They're not fundamental to making the car work. They're accessories. A smart home operating system can't just be an accessory. It needs to be infrastructure in the home. It needs to be professional grade. A smart home operating system has to support choice. Because again, remember, customers, families want choice. It has to be flexible to support all of the other accessories that are out there, the best of breed products, no matter who they come from, with rich uh, interoperability support. And it has to do that in such a way that it has legs over the long haul. It has to be architected to be a platform that has a, a long-term capability. A smart home operating system has to be built from the ground up and built for customer privacy at its core. The home is the castle. Customers view it that way. And they are not going to stand for products that come into their house that, that uh, chip away at that. And a smart home operating system has to be professional grade. It has to be designed from the get-go to be supported by local professional help because customers are going to demand that. So earlier this year, we launched the Control 4 Smart Home OS 3. How many of you have it running in your house right now? Almost everybody. Right on. That, the numbers we have back that up. Every five minutes, a new home is installed with Smart Home OS 3. 90% of the Control 4 dealers have already adopted it and are installing it. 
to, so now I get to start into the transition where I start talking about some of the new things we're announcing at CDF. I'm not going to be able to talk about all of them because we don't have enough time. I'll give you a, a couple uh, insights. The first is an update to, to Smart Home OS 3, where, we, where we're making it even better. Um, hundreds of refinements and additions since the, the, the version we launched earlier this year. Um, uh, one of the, the biggest ones that, that I'm most excited about because uh, it points to a couple different things where we're innovating is significantly enhanced intercom anywhere capability. And at the core of this is enabling third-party door stations to work with intercom anywhere. We don't, we, we, you know, we talk about things like we're committed to customer choice, um, and sometimes those things can just be read as lip service. This is a clear statement how committed we are to customer choice. We hear it clearly. We have an awesome set of door stations that we make and manufacture and sell. They're awesome. But we hear clearly that customers want choice. They want these other door stations from other manufacturers. So like we do with everything within the Control 4 smart home operating system, we open up APIs and expose them to other vendors so they can build products that interoperate with it. And we've done that with Intercom Anywhere. All of these APIs, as of today, are part of the DriverWorks SDK. And, and our launch partners of Comlet, 2N, and Otfox uh, are just the beginning. We, we expect to see more and more brands come along quickly. Another thing we've done within Intercom Anywhere um, is something that will directly appeal to end customers, which is uh, we now have support for being able to have uh, uh, camera snapshots from your door station or other cameras automatically show up on a customer's phone when a doorbell is rung or a motion detector detection event happens. Yeah. The Intercom Anywhere uh, APIs are a further example of the power and the uh, completeness of the ecosystem that has grown up around the Control 4 operating system. Um, today, there's something like 175,000 bespoke drivers out there in the world driving all that interoperability because customers want choice. And we're going to continue to invest in making that platform more and more robust over time. I have a big background in voice in the home. Um, there's, there's, it's, that's no secret, um, and, and, I'm, and I'm a big fan of Amazon Alexa, probably should be, um, uh, but I'm even more of a fan of what Control 4 did before I joined the company, by the way, in the implementation of the Alexa skill for Control 4. Um, it is by far the most complete and robust smart home skill for all of Alexa. It, control, it, it supports more device types at more depth, um, and customers love it. It's used 34,000 times a day within Control 4 systems. I'm really excited today to announce that we are adding Google Assistant support to Control 4. We've worked really closely with Google to make sure this is, this is a world-class, best-in-class implementation of Google Assistant support. Again, supporting all of the device types, from lighting and thermostats to door locks, et cetera. Um, and it, it does it in, in, a, in that, uh, the same broad way that we did, we've done with Alexa. But one of the things we hear really clearly from our dealers and, and our end customers as well as through dealers is that our customers really value their privacy. And a lot of customers are frankly very afraid of these voice assistants because it's unclear what's really going on. And so when, one of the things that's really cool about the way Control 4 implemented the Alexa support was the only time any data went from a Control 4 system up to Amazon was when a customer actually issued a smart home command. And so we've taken that model and moved it forward. And today, as part of the Google Assistant launch, we have a new capability of the Control 4 smart home OS that we refer to as the smart home privacy guard. Privacy Guard is turned on by default. And by default, nothing is shared with these voice assistants unless a customer explicitly issues a command. 
Customers can choose to disable got privacy guard or disable it on a device type or by, by device type basis. We think this is a great way for us to continue to ensure that the customers that want these capabilities can have them, and those that are a little more nervous about it can do it with full transparency of knowing uh, what's actually going on. Talk about averages a lot. So on average, Control 4 Smart Home has 40 devices in it. But averages are not actually a very good way of talking about statistics because they sort of lie. And this is a good example because we have smart homes that are supported by Control 4 that have single digit devices in them, many, many of them, like single room entertainment solutions, all the way up to homes powered by Control 4 that have thousands of devices under control by Control 4. We hear it all the time from, from dealers saying, I install Control 4 um, in most of my projects, but sometimes for the really big ones I use brand X, Y, or Z. And that's never really been valid because clearly Control 4 can support this. Today we're removing all doubt. The announcement of the CA10 automation controller. New controller in the, in the Control 4 controller line designed to handle the biggest projects. Four times the processing power, four times the memory, three times the performance for the things that matter for customers and how the UI performs and operates within the home. The CA10 is internally redundant and fault tolerant. It has dual fans, it has dual inter ethernet adapters. It has a power supply with uh, dual power supplies in it. Within 500 milliseconds of detecting uh, a failure in one of the power supplies will automatically switch over with no interruption of service. Dual SSD drives. A cooling system that's designed to enable the device uh, to run uninterrupted, uninterrupted, uninterrupted for for a long time. We're so confident in this device, it's coming with a five-year warranty. The, the beta for the CA-10 um, was a classic Control 4 broad beta with, with lots of dealer involvement. I'm sure many of you in the room uh, had a chance to, to, to take a taste. Um, the feedback has been resound resoundingly positive, and we're confident, as is this particular customer, that there's now no excuse uh, uh, for any other platform to be chosen as a smart home operating system. That also points to another distinct thing about the Control 4 platform, is we have a single platform that scales across any house. This means, as a dealer, you can bet on us and not have to have multiple tool sets, not have to train your techs in two different systems, because our system scales all the way from the single room, home theater experience, all the way up to the 80,000 square foot mega mansion. We have heard over and over from, from techs and dealers that the, the tool set that is used for programming control four called Composer Pro has an, this annoying characteristic that you have to have a different version for each version of the operating system. I am extremely pleased to announce that we have addressed that. I, I've, only, I've only been working with Control 4 about, for about a year, and this weekend I went and del uh, deleted and uninstalled all those versions that I had on my machine. Um, we use the term broken windows. Within, the, within my organization to talk about um, issues like this. Um, there's a theory in, in, in uh, neighborhoods called the broken window theory, which says that if, if one person leaves a window broken, uh, the whole neighborhood starts to, to go downhill because soon someone won't paint a fence or, or mow a lawn, et cetera. And so we use this term internally. And this is, one, is an example of one of the many broken windows that, that we've addressed over the last year. 
Um, and we, we set a goal of, of every quarter in this year uh, to knock down a bunch of these. And um, first, first quarter, second quarter, and now in the third quarter, each quarter, things of this magnitude, we've knocked down 30 or 40 of them each quarter. And you see that throughout all of our products. So co combined, Snap AV designs and manufactures and delivers something like 4,700 products. This week, we're showing off about 150 new products in our booths or, that are available now. We invite you to take the time, come by the booth, say hi, ask the hard questions, poke on the products, get to know them at both the Snap AV and the Control 4 booth. We tried to get them together. We didn't quite have enough time based on the merger. Um, as well as the Triad Sound, uh, the triad sound Room, which is an amazing um, uh, experience for Triad speakers. So with that, thank you very much for your time, and enjoy the rest of Cedia. Every time it